Work is well underway on the site of the new Institute of Translational Medicine in Birmingham. This world-class clinical research facility will be located in the original Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Edgbaston, next to the new Queen Elizabeth Hospital Birmingham and the University of Birmingham Medical School. This corridor leads to the commercial hub, where there are offices housing four and eight desks. Panning round, you are looking towards the main ITM reception, with admin offices to the left and commercial offices to the right-hand side. Off this corridor, still in the commercial hub, there are smaller two-desk offices, but you'll see that the ceilings are high and there's plenty of natural light coming through the large 1930s-style windows. The originals have all been replaced with replica energy efficient frames and panes in keeping with the architectural period and they've been manufactured by the same company that installed the originals. Birmingham Health Partners have engaged the services of Glen Howells Architects to design the ITM with Vinci Construction building it. The design of the state-of-the-art facility sensitively reflects its architectural heritage and transforms that history into an iconic centre for translational medicine in Birmingham. The lobby area will have a reception facing the door with a variety of seating on either side, as well as screens to display information about what's happening within the ITM. Anyone who visited the Queen Elizabeth Hospital will recognise the North Entrance, better known as the Queen Mother's Bust Entrance. The donor board will be placed within the reception area. This open plan area will be transformed into a cafe which will be accessible to all staff, students and visitors to the ITM. The facility will provide seating for up to 80 people and will offer a relaxed working environment for clinicians, academics, methodologists and industry partners. This space will also support lectures, conferences and evening events. Here you're looking towards the old QE boardroom which will now be used as a lecture theatre that will have capacity for up to 63 attendees. Moving down this corridor there are four desk offices off to one side and as we reach the west ground area we move into the ITM clinical research facility which is accessed through a general reception and waiting area which you can see here. Here you can see consulting rooms off the corridor to the left with clinical support rooms to the right. This is the main corridor on level one of the ITM. There's still a lot of work underway in terms of boarding out the designated spaces and fixing the electrics. This corridor faces out on the right hand side over Mindelson Way towards Nuffield House. This huge tangle of orange data cables is in the hub room on level one and will eventually transport thousands of pieces of information to support the groundbreaking work taking place within the ITM. This second floor corridor has offices off to the right, leading down to this open plan space which again is flooded with light from the many windows. Shared admin and office resources on this floor will support the staff working here. Now we're on the fourth floor on the west side. Off the main corridor there are a number of cellular offices which will each accommodate two workstations. The high ceilings in the 1930s building give a sense of space and light which is enhanced by the number of windows out on the main corridor. The University of Birmingham Laboratories will be located on level 5 of the ITM. Back onto the main corridor we head down to the main lab and go through to the room on the right which is the tissue sample lab. In this area the work is fairly well progressed with the walls boarded out and the heating and ventilation system already installed. Colour schemes throughout the ITM have been carefully selected to support its brand recognition, staff and patient experience and wayfinding. Each level will have a thematic colour with complementary fixtures and fittings to create a unified, bespoke and professional facility.